Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. I'm back again to do a recipe, family recipe. I've had my hip broken and I haven't done any videos in two or three months. But anyway, we're ready to start back and we're going to, today we're going to do an old fashioned green bean that I thought every farm lady that I knew when I was growing up made this and I don't know any of them that had a recipe. My mother didn't leave a recipe, and so for a long time, I looked for this recipe because I knew how it tastes. It's not my mother's recipe because I don't know for sure, but what they did during uh, harvest season for their gardens, they had the green beans, they had the onions, they had uh, the potatoes, they had, and then they just cooked it all together. So we'll try that recipe today, and uh, I hope it turns out good and I hope uh, we hope you'll like it if you ever try it. I talked to some people that grew up the same time I did to try to see what they thought that tastes like and what they figured out how they made it. It was a very simple thing. They just boiled the potatoes and the onions uh, and uh, the green beans, but uh, I decided to add a little bit to it. I, I had the bacon. We'll see how it turns out. I chopped up a half a pound of bacon, and you might wonder why I'm using this big pan. When I cook bacon, I use this high side because your bacon don't splatter, grease doesn't splatter out on your stove and mess it up. It's, uh, it's a little bit big, but uh, I don't care for that. I just rather have that to have my stove messed up. So we cook this till it's, uh, brown and uh, we're going to take it out and cook our onions in the bacon grease. Used to when I grew up uh, I had in uh, garden, uh, you know we had to chop the garden. And I'm not sure of uh, all the varieties of green beans but my mother's green bean, favorite green bean was the Kentucky Wonder and it had a lot of strings on it. You had to pull all the strings out and snap them they they snap when you when you push on them a little and i had to help do that so i was too young to uh, really realize how important it was to get these recipes i didn't know any of those women back then that had a recipe for green beans they just my mother-in-law was the same way they just knew what they was doing they'd go out in their garden they'd get their green beans and they'd get their uh, onions and uh, everything that they put together. Now, I, I don't remember bacon being in it. I've added that. Yeah, I can, I can remember the taste of foods, and a lot of times I try to copy that. As old as I am, I can pretty much remember the taste of it. And if I want to put a recipe together that was way back then, it's, sometimes it's hard work, though. You have to really cook a lot to and think about what you're doing. Uh, before you get the right recipe. Now there is a lot of recipes even for this, green beans and uh, potatoes. You'll see a lot of that on the internet, but a lot of it I've tried and I didn't like. It wasn't the old fashioned way they fixed it. But it also has something else at the end. We boil the liquid down and until it's uh, oh, all the liquid is absorbed out in there, but you've served that over the bean. They didn't do that. They cooked it in water. I'm cooking mine in chicken broth, too. I don't think my mother did that. They had uh, potatoes, and when you harvest them, uh, you'll have some small potatoes, and that's what they used in these green beans. Now, if you got a potato that small, which is about an inch in diameter, uh, you won't cut it and you don't peel them. And when you got one like this, that's about an inch and a half, you want to cut that one in two. I wouldn't even cut that one. It's, but all of these others, they were a little bigger than that, so I cut them. You know, you wonder why, of all the modern cooks, and they've they got some great food out there, uh, why you'd want to go back and cook the food we used to eat. I'm videoing a lot of this. I started out doing it for my children. 
And I want them to have a history of our recipes, how we ate when I was a child. In fact, I think I like my cornbread better than I did my mother's. Uh, my mother-in-law taught me to make cornbread. She made great cornbread. Okay, I think this is ready to take up. We're going to take the bacon up and save the grease. We're going to put the bacon in a bowl. We have a couple of tablespoons maybe of uh, bacon grease and we're going to put our onion in it. This is one onion and you don't have to chop it up real small. We cook this until it's tender onion and it takes two or three minutes to finish that. We got about two cloves of garlic we're going to add to these onions. You don't want to cook garlic too long. Get your onions started cooking and add it a little later. Let's see how much red pepper that was. It's just a fourth of a teaspoon, so it's not very much. And it's optional. If you don't want to use the red pepper, it's fine. But you know red pepper is good in a lot of vegetables. Okay, we're going to add our chicken broth, which is three cups. And we're going to add our salt, which is three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Three-fourths of a teaspoon. And three cups of chicken broth. Now we're going to add our potatoes. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to cut the heat a little bit and, and simmer it. You don't want to get your potatoes too soft because you want to leave them in intact like they are. You don't want them to be mashed up. Of course, they need to be tender though. I believe they're boiling enough now. I'm going to turn this heat down. We've got a pound of green beans. I bought these fresh, and then I didn't cook them about, uh, oh, two weeks ago, so I stuck them in the freezer. And I don't think it's going to make any difference in the way they taste. Okay, now we're going to add our bacon that we saved over here. That looks pretty to me. Cover this, I think. We're going to need to turn that heat up some. I'm going to turn it up on about a... It's probably medium heat. Okay, we wait now. I'm going to time this. And now our green beans and potatoes have finished cooking. And uh, they look very southern. And I hope you try this recipe and I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on another family video. Thank you.